Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by Apex Irons from Callaway. Hello everybody and welcome into this edition of Golf Central. I'm Cara Banks with a look at how things are going at the Zurich Classic of New Orleans, where two rounds are underway. Four ball play on Thursday, foursomes play on Friday, and two teams currently tied on top. One of them is Cameron Champ and Tony Finau, the other Victor Hovland and Chris Ventura, both 13 under par heading into the weekend. Let's hear from Champ and Finau. I think it's extremely important in this, uh, in this golf tournament. We played great yesterday, but we knew the day, um, I think that counted more out of the two days was today. So uh, I was really happy with the way we played. Um, he drove it great, putted, hit some key putts for us on 13 and 14 to keep the momentum in our, uh, in our favor. And um, yeah, it was a huge round for us. I think you were shaking your head a little bit on 18 after his drive. <laughs> Any comment to that? Well, I just I said maybe tomorrow I'll hit on or on Sunday I'll hit on 18, so yeah, I can have it a little closer in. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, what do you make of the format? I mean, I know it's kind of new, but it's, I'm sure it's something you've played before. But was it a different kind of pressure and something you enjoyed? I mean, you're always going to have your your interpersonal. You know, you don't want to play bad for your teammate. But again, we just again on the range we just coin flipped uh, who was going odds, who was going even. So <laughs> I mean, just make it as relaxed and just as fun and enjoyable as we can and that's what we've done and um, obviously we did today with the win and just the format in general is going to be a grind and um, you know that's what we did especially coming down you know the last nine holes we just kind of grinded it out and um, but then fin finished with a good birdie on 18. Some guys have talked about choosing their strategy based on who's hitting a certain golf ball on what hole and who's hitting the approach shots. I should know this what golf balls do you guys hit and did that factor into it at all? Uh, luckily for us, in the QBE, um, he was able to use my golf ball and, and was okay just playing mine. So we haven't put too much thought into the ball because, you know, it's I've, I was lucky. He just he was happy to play mine. So that's what that's what we've done with the alternate shot. Uh, Cameron's um, allowed me to just use my ball, and and so we've just been using yeah. that one for alternate shot. Yeah. yeah. What, what ball was it? What ball do you use? Tony? I got the left out Pro V1. Yeah, I think 13, 2013 ball. So it's it's been out for a while. And what was the best thing Tony did in the round today? <laughs> uh, saved me on the last hole. Uh, <laughs> terrible 40 footer I hit. Um, no, I mean, like I said, we just we just fought together. You know, we, we both hit a few squirrely shots, but we were able to make some good pars um, that just kind of kept the round going. And like I said, this format that's that's huge. Um, you know, making I think we made uh, on 13 and 14, uh, 15 we we made a good up and down. Um, and then we took advantage of 18. So, you know, that stuff just kind of helps keep the round going. Um, and like we said today, we knew, like you said, we just grinded it out, kind of just stayed even keel and make your breeze when they come, you know, we'll take it. Who had heads? Who had tails today? On the first I can't remember. Was it? I think you called heads and it was odds. Heads was odds. So yeah. And my tails favorite. Even. And so. I flipped and I had heads, so I yeah. was going first. <laughs> So that's how, yeah, that's how it happens. Just right on the range, right before we teed off. Um, Tony, you, you've had a, a few chances to win the, the past couple of years. Is, is there any um, pressure that gets taken off by having a partner you can lean on in a format like this uh, these next two days? Uh, I, I mean, I haven't thought about that much this not week. That you would, right? Yeah, not that much <laughs> this week. You know, when Sunday comes. Uh, I probably have a better answer for you. I know we're having a good time with this format up to this point. We played some both really solid golf, and um, you know we we find ourselves at the top of the leaderboard. So you know I haven't been that much leaderboard watching. We knew we were playing well, and um, and then on the 18, I happened to peek over and I'm like, oh wow, we're on the top of the leaderboard. So um, we're going to continue doing I think what we've been doing with the last couple of days, which is enjoy each other's company and um, you know, not add add any bonus pressure when it comes no. to teammate golf. So. Uh, we've done a good job of that, and, and we'll continue that the next couple of days. So they opened with a 63 and four ball play yesterday. They had the joint lowest round of the day in foursomes today, 68. Same as what Justin Rose and Henrik Stenson put together. Just one blemish, and that has been their only bogey of the week that they suffered at the 12th hole. Well, they are tied with Victor Hovland and Chris Ventura, who went around yesterday in 10 under par in the four ball play. Followed that up with a 69 today, despite a double at the 16th hole. Otherwise, some solid birdies and uh, a good day overall. Let's hear from the Norwegian pair. 
Uh, yeah, I'd say so, especially with these conditions. Um, I mean, it's it's whipping pretty hard out there. Uh, and the greens are getting really firm and fast. Um, I was I hit a, some really nice iron shots that just happened to roll, you know, 100 feet, and uh, you're kind of scrambling from there. But um, yeah, I, th I thought we did a really good job. Chris is driving it on a string and and uh, really far as well, so that makes it easier for me with uh, with hitting some iron shots in there. I can be a bit more aggressive, um, and we we managed to, to birdie a couple of uh, really tough holes out there. So uh, it was it was a good day. Chris, your first time in this event, but you seem very comfortable. Why do you think that is? I think just playing with Victor, just having fun, and obviously we don't get to do this very often. Uh, I think obviously we're playing some good golf, and the course we both like, so it's just uh, one of those things where we're comfortable uh, playing out here. Victor, you mentioned his driving. What do you think has been the strongest part of your game this week? Um, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've hit I've hit some some really good iron shots. Um, don't really feel like anything's been amazing. It's just all kind of been solid. Um, hit some really nice short game, you know, short game. short yeah. game shots around the greens to um, make a couple of nice saves. And um, it's funny. I, I'm trying to just to think whether or not I putted well today. I didn't feel like I really had any putts today. Uh, so that was nice. But uh, I, I didn't miss any short ones. So um, I just felt like it's uh, game's pretty solid. What happened on the second shot at 16? Yeah, so uh, pins left. It's kind of a it's a tough second shot, and, and that bunker was uh, was filled with a lot of sand. So I, I knew that there's a chance I might not get great contact um, out of that bunker. So I made sure that I was going to aim pretty far right and trying to shut the face a little bit and trying to hit a little draw up against the wind. But if I if I hit the sand first, which I did, I was going to make sure I left myself. Um, you know, with a 40-yard wedge shot from the fairway, and then we're, you know, at worst making bogey, but I uh, must have just shut the, the club head a little too much, and it just came out soft and left and ended up in the water, so that, uh, yeah, that wasn't great. It was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it was my fault, in other words. <laughs> when you try to hit the fairway with an iron, and I hit in that bunker, it wasn't the best teammate. But, it, ha it happens. Yeah. But you guys kind of turn it around after that, and then you take off. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we just kind of trusted our games. We we played really solid yesterday, and we we knew that okay, one bad hole we can we can birdie uh, the rest of the holes, and we, we managed to birdie five from there, which is which was really good today. So everyone is chasing the two teams at 13 under. Graham McDowell and Matthew Wallace made a good jump up the leaderboard today, thanks to that one an eagle at the par three 17th, where Graham McDowell had an ace, the first of his career on the PGA Tour, would you believe? So certainly a moment to remember for them. We also had some news from Tiger Woods today. Really first time we've seen a picture of him since that horrific car crash he suffered in Los Angeles two months ago to the day. It was on February 23rd today, of course, April 23rd, but posted this picture saying, my course is coming along faster than I am, but it's nice to have a faithful rehab partner, man's best friend. And I think most people with a dog by their side uh, would agree. It's great to see Tiger up, of course, still with the help of crutches. And I'm sure a lot of recovery still to come on his right leg. But he's smiling and seemingly in good spirits. So we continue to send our best and say get well to Mr. Woods as uh, we look ahead to what a fun weekend it should be in New Orleans. The cut fell at six under par. And we will return to a four-ball format for moving day tomorrow.